<laughs> oh, is that a pressure plate? How the hell you were supposed to tell that was a pressure plate? It just seemed odd that it would be there. The fuck was that? Guessing I might need that. Can't pick it up. Okay, the map doesn't seem to indicate anything where I might need the rope. What the hell's that? Go anywhere, does it? Oh, nice. Bit of step, but. Nice. Just nicely hidden away under the uh, skull candle. Nearly at my uh, limit, though. Oh, how the fuck are you supposed to do that? Then? The coins just tucked away and hidden in plain sight. I wonder. You block fireball with the with the candle holder. Ha! <laughs> nice. Why is there just a clock stood in the middle of the fucking floor? Enjoying your stay on Pagan Avatar? Ow. That looks 
looks like as the door goes down. I didn't want to walk on that one. Fucking. Ah. Oh. The detection is really annoying. Didn't want to put it there either. I was aiming for fucking that one. Can I use the fucking clock as a weight? Yes. Why can't I put it there? to go there that one it's not gonna let me do it is it that one no that's going to be behind so it's exactly the same problem God, I hate these sorts of things oh, I might have got it might have got it oh maybe not oh no I have just up it does need to be in the fucking middle after all this that totally looks like a door so yes Oh, oh, come on. I didn't even fucking walk through it. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm going to have to do that fucking puzzle again now. I took one step and it just fucking strides off into the distance. You piece of fucking cunt. Oh, and I've just fucking quick saved it. Luckily, it fuck. It really annoys me when people put quick save and quick load next to each other. That's why fucking F five and F nine should be fucking quick load and quick save, not fucking F seven and F eight. One fucking missed thing, fucking save over, and you're fucked. Right. Save it there. And this time, don't walk into something ah, I don't tell you to walk ah, into. The thrill of conquest is so invigorating. Right. So if I walk into it, I'm dead. So I need what's that? Rock skin or whatever it is. Rock skin. That's the hero quest, isn't it? Rock flesh, wood, and dirt. Probably why it left me some wood. 
What's that? Withstand death, and I could always fall back on that. Oof. Okay. Save it. <sighs> Not having a good day it. My oven has just blown up now, so I need to buy a new element. Anything else? So my ready NAS has blown up, the oven's blown up, I keep blowing up. Didn't look right. So <laughs> How am I supposed to do it? Ceremonial. Oh, hang on. Thank you. Yeah, I need that um, disc thing, blue thing with the icons on it, because it said in order to converse with them. I'm just going to remember where the bloody door was. Can't remember where it is. heavy yes okay I can get another clock Save. Shrine. Your treasured Britannia succumbs easily. Soon all the land will be mine. Yes. Greetings, Avatar. We are aware of you and from where you come. We also know of what you seek. And we wish to help you. You must become your destiny. That is not important now. Know that we wish to help you in your quest. Behind us lies the tomb of Kumash Gore. 
Who is Kumashko? Only the most fearsome warrior who ever lived. Eons ago, he was a great chieftain to our worshippers. But now he lies forever entombed in honor of his valor. With him rests an artifact that is the key to tremendous power. It is made of black rock, a substance with which you have considerable familiarity. I do. The small object is shaped much like a pyramid, but be warned. For even in death, Kumash Gore has kept the fighting spirit to which he held so tenaciously in life. He will not part readily with his possessions. Good luck, Avatar. Okay. There is nothing more we can tell you until you have found the ancient artifact. All right. How the fuck do I get through the door? Huh. So, it does work on doors, just not every fucking door. So I've got to fight Kumash Gore. If that's the case, I want some spells. Grant peace. Mask of death. So I'm using the deceive axe. What's I'm doing actually in my weapons? So the deceiver does blade blunt and magic damage. 8 to 21, and that's it. Corgan's fang did plus 4 to attack dexterity and plus 1 to armor. But that only did 7 to 13 blade and magic damage. Uh, scimitar of Kumash Gore, blade and magic 5 to 6, double damage on undead, plus 1 to attack dexterity. So there's like none that increase your strength. So I think the axe I've got is probably better than what I'm about to get. Who is foolish enough to disturb the sanctity of Kumash Gore? Come you seeking treasure? Well, it is death you have found. Yeah. Fuck, wrong one. That one. Nice. Ha. Oh, okay. Have you dropped? Six coins, an empty potion, one of them blowy up things, a scimitar, which is probably too heavy to carry. Yes. So, uh, I don't necessarily need it, but I'm going to take it back to the overworld and dump it there. So, that was fairly easy. I'm just going to find the black rock thing now, which is probably in this exploding chest. Yeah, or not. Must be something I can drop. Two of it to carry anyway. Um, drop a couple of. Yeah, fucking hell, scrolls are weighing me down. Nice tomb. Well done, hmm. mortal. The item of black rock which you now possess is the first key to unlocking tremendous power within yourself. Tremendous power. Beyond earth, water, air, and fire, there is 
contains another element, a fifth element. You have heard of it before. It is called ether. And like the others, this element will assume a form of titanic proportions. You are to be that titan, the titan of ether. Okay. We know that the power is within you. But it is up to you to have the courage to use this power. You must take the power from the other titans. You must take their worshippers, just as our followers were ripped from our grasp. Continue your quest for the powers of the other titans, for that is the way to gain their followers. The greater the abilities you can accrue, the better chance you will have of weakening the other four, and eventually standing with them as more than just an equal. Go now to find the titans called Stratos, Hydros, and Pyros. You shall okay. find Hydros in her underground temple. The other two dwell on the surface. Farewell. And good haste. In your conquest. So, is the anger one? I forgot. I'm trying to remember which the which they were. So yeah, she was love or whatever. He was anger, and he was ambivalence or whatever. That's. That's why his voice acting so. And now go and do the thing which you're supposed to do. So I'm guessing I can just teleport out of here now, is it? No, I don't need to go back through there, do I? Or do I? I'm sure there's a door there. So I think I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Am I supposed to go back to the lower catacombs now? That door that I do. Do not remember this corridor. Ah, right. That's why I don't remember it, because I never went down it. So, the way out should be behind the bowels. There we go. So. <gasps> I don't I still don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Now I'm talking with somebody. They mentioned that that red thing Sticking out of the wall, wherever it was, there. Whoa. Gonna keep coming back. I'm gonna keep killing him. Yeah. Right. So he said that this red thing became useful later on. Okay, that did become useful. Can I actually get that back? Oh god, <sighs> shit. Huh? 
Ah. Why is that not? Why is that not activated? I thought it was supposed to activate when you step on them. Catacombs. Oh, okay, so it does work. It just doesn't look like it works. That's really strange. I mean, how are you supposed to figure that out? If it hadn't been mentioned, how the fuck were I supposed to know that? Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. 